So good morning or good night depending on where you are in the world and welcome to another album review of The Shield Dude on a Couch. I'm your host Hector and today we're gonna talk about the 13th new album by Dark Tranquility and it's called End Time Signal. So for those of you that do not know Dark Tranquility, they're a pioneering band of the Gothenburg melodic death metal style that originated in the 1990s with other bands like In Flames and At The Gates. So along with Dark Tranquility, these three bands created this sound. And Dark Tranquility has always been consistent. They all, like, I, I can tell you there's, they haven't released a bad album. Yes, there are albums that are more memorable than others, but they're always good. You know, I always find something great to say about Dark Tranquility. I've seen them like twice and I can tell you, amazing band live. Uh, Mike Mikael uh, Stane, uh, I hope I pronounced the last name correctly, the lead singer is one of the best melodic death metal vocalists out there, hands down. The way he enunciates, even when he's in the harsher tone, you can always understand what he's singing. And also when he sings, he truly sings, so very talented. So this album, End Time Signals, to me, really sounds a lot like the continuation of their last album, Atoma, uh, both in tone and like the structures of the songs. Uh, it's worth mentioning that they, they have a few member changes. So they have uh, two new members uh, join the band. I think it's the, I, I think it's a bass player, or I, I don't know who the other one is right now. But yeah, they have new blood coming the band, but you know what? They still sound like Dark Tranquility. So if I didn't know that, I, I say like, hey, they still sound like what they sound like. So it hasn't altered the sound of the band. You know, they still sound the way they sound. Uh, yeah, they're melodic. They have, you know, a keyboard and some effects and songs that they've always had. It's always been a trademark of Dark Tranquility and it's still there. So before this album came out, we had a few singles out to give us a taste of what the album sounds like, like Unforgivable, uh, Not Nothing. Uh, I, and they released the day of the album, a new single with Wayward Eyes. So these singles really, when I listened to them, yeah, they had, uh, they were like, uh, not that long songs, like four and a half minutes. They followed that formula of like, melodic singing, more harsher, uh, some guitar, like guitar tones, like uh, solos here and there, and the keyboard. So they followed that formula. So I can say, you know, they're not bad songs. They're, they're very good songs, but they're also nothing new that we have heard from the band. It's, it's almost like they're playing it safe, but you know, for things albums in, do you want their tranquility to change their sound? I don't know, I, I like their sound, so I like the consistency of their sound. Uh, like, it's not gonna win them like new people that are not like already fans of the band, but if you're a fan of the band already, I think you're going to be very happy with the outcome of this record. So yeah, the, those are the lead singles, but I think the lead singles are not the strongest songs on the record. Uh, they're strong, but I think they kept the best songs for the release. I think uh, releasing Wayward Eyes as a single the day of the release is good because I think that's the strongest song out of the singles they release. It's melodic, It uh, you know, Mikael really shows you his vocal range. Uh, again, you know, it's the way that the, they play their instruments. You like, you can hear it and say, yeah, that's dark tranquility. It's a guitar tone that they have. Uh, going with the keyboards and the effects. And that song is a pretty uh, great tune. Uh, pr the production on this record, I gotta say, it sounds great. Every Dark Tranquility record sounds great. You can listen to every instrument very clearly, very crisp. Some people may not like that because they're like, no, we like it more raw, but it's melodic death metal. Uh, hence, the melody. So, uh, you have a few more like mid-tempo, like ballads, if you will, like for example, False Reflection, which ends the album. 
and it's a decent album closer you know i think mikael uh, has a great voice to do like more like power ballad type of tracks but to me uh one of the standouts of the record is one of us is gone he has like that great keyboard piano to it and Mikael like really soars with his vocals it, it feels very mournful you know like because they're talking about a past member of the band that died and the way they do it is very respectful and I'm telling you the, the vocals is what drives it for me and the way that they play the guitar here it's melodic and somber at the same time so I think it's one of the standout tracks of the record and it's like in the middle of the record uh, i forgot to say there was one other single that was released the last imagination that one is a great as well that's a more mid paced uh affair uh with you know some like very fast paced delivery in the vocals uh other tracks you know the other my other two favorite tracks on this record are shivers and voids and neuronal fire shivers and voids opens the record and what a way to open the record you know you get like very fast guitar uh melodies uh fast drumming and it's melodic and fast at the same time so it really it's a really great album opener because it really gets you in the mood of what the record's gonna sound like and the world of fire i think is the perfect blend of using catchy melodies and aggression at the same time i just love the chorus on that song i think it's earwormy and that's something that dark tranquility is great they're great at hooks and choruses uh they do it great i think out of the melodic death metal bands i think they're one of the best if not the best to do this so my final verdict for this album is like it's not reinventing the wheel it, you know it's nothing new that they have done but they're very consistent and i like the consistency in the band uh i like the production on this record because everything sounds clean crisp and like you really can enjoy and i can't stress enough mikael's enunciation of the words is important because even when he's in the more like aggressive tone of singing you can understand what the fuck he's singing so again dark tranquility another solid release for the album yeah i, I don't think this is going to like uh, be album of the year uh or like <laughs> in the list but it's another solid release in addition to the dark tranquility catalog so i want to know from you couchers what do you think of end time signals by dark tranquility uh what are your favorite tracks from this record i would really want to know comment down below and if you like the videos that I'm putting out, do not forget to give me a like and do not forget to subscribe. That helps me with the YouTube algorithm to get to more people like yourself. So coming up next this weekend on the Shield on a Couch, this Saturday, a new episode of Is It That Bad for the brand new album for Falling in Reverse. I say brand new, but it really has like four new tracks. So <laughs> that will be tomorrow. So until next time, this is Hector, the Shield Dude on a Couch. And I'll see you all right here on the couch. Thank you and goodbye.